another E3 and another opportunity that Nintendo could announce that they are localizing Mother 3 into the States. And once again, it's another E3 that they will not. Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal and welcome back to Earthbound. Last time, we went to Scraba, did a lot of shopping, and then entered the pyramid, which houses an item. The Hawkeye, which we have no clue what we should actually use it for yet. This time, we're going to be going through the pyramid to hopefully find the Hawkeye, which is an item that uh, we don't know if we need yet. Okay, I want to see if I can get this, this guy over here. Over here. Over here. Ah, I don't want to fight him, but I know... Oh, whoa, he, he came out, he came out, he came out. Come here, come here, buddy. Come here. Come here. There you go. Ah, perfect. Perfect. He went over there, and things are happy. Perfect. That's awesome. Let's go through here. If I can avoid fighting enemies, I will, although they always spawn there. So I'll probably have to fight one of these enemies. Not both, because they don't appear at the same time, but one of them. Unless I'm really shady, sneaky, and sly. Ah, No. Oh, what? Wait. Still possible. This is still possible. I will be very slow, meticulous, and I'll fight the battle. One battle alive, the other battle avoided. Let's carry on. And I avoid the snake. Awesome. I want to avoid all the all of the enemies I can just because they're annoying. Paul's levels now 45. Speed one by one. HP one by three. PP one by one. So many battles I have to cut out, and it is annoying. Ness, open the casket. Ta-da! There's a speed capsule inside, because the ancient pharaohs had access to modern medicine. Ta-da! There's a cup of life noodles in inside, so they liked their top ramen. Good to know. A uh, speed capsule. Ugh. Who needs it? I mean, I'm not going to give it Jeff. Jeff is going to be the slowest member of the group no matter what. So, an increase of one speed won't help him. And Ness doesn't have the speed stat growths that the other characters do, so let's do speed on Ness. Uh, some, some veteran Earthbound players say it's kind of, oh boy, kind of futile to put stat boosters on Ness, just because of spoilers, but uh, to that I say, it really... What you're talking about is late game, and what I'm talking about is the rest of the game. Wow, that was a pretty powerful smash attack. Okay, let's move on. I didn't even have to cut out that battle because it was like two basic or auto or bash attacks. Ness's level is now 49. He's pushing 50. Defense went up by one. IQ went up by one. HP went up by two. PP went up by five. Ness realized the power of PSI Rock and Gamma. Ooh, I need to take a look at this. Rock and Gamma. Okay, so this is 10, does 50 points of damage to everyone. This is 14, does 180 points of damage to everyone. This is 40, and does 320 points of damage to everyone. Uh, really, I mean, when I was talking about scaling attacks, this one actually doesn't scale as well as the other ones do, but it's still, it's still a, uh, a 320 damage nuke, so I say that's good. It also reduces the, um... The power of psychic shields, so that is actually pretty valuable. So, not bad. Uh, while I'm at it, though, I think I've learned some other things. I learned life up gamma, which I never talked about. Oh, wait, no, I did. Well, someone learned a move that I have not talked about yet. Um, was it Paula? No, Paula has it. Well, no, she has offense up omega, which I didn't talk about. For the PP cost of 30, it raises everyone's offense. Um, same thing as alpha, just it does it to everyone. And, okay, but Pooh, I know, learned something new. I know that for a factoid. Uh, yeah, he learned Healing Gamma, which he is the only member that knows Healing healing Gamma right now. This is a awesome move that eliminates the need for Cups of Life Noodles, pretty much. In addition to the healing effects of uh, Healing Beta, this cures being Diamondized and Paralysis. This also revives a friend who has become unconscious, though HP is not maxed out. So it can revive fallen comrades, and it also heals everything that uh, that uh, healing alpha and beta do. So it it does everything. It is a cup of life noodles for the PP cost of 20. That's awesome. Also, uh, they now have 
they now have uh, the magnet, alpha, and omega, which I need to make use of that sometime. Okay, down the stairs we go, just like Gollum, except he's going up the stairs, and now I can talk about E3, and I would kind of like, you know what? I would like to predict something for E3, because the first day, uh, I'm recording this on the first day of E3, and this is a boss, I believe. Yes, it is. Um, I'm, rec I'm recording this on the first day of E3. I have seen a little bit of E3. I haven't seen any of the stream. I've just seen, uh, I essentially just saw... Uh, one thing that they announced. It's called uh, Ball Blast or Blast Ball or something like that. Um, it's It looks like they're hinting at a multiplayer uh, Metroid Prime um, that has online multiplayer because Nintendo's trying to get into eSports and this is the way they decided to do it. So that's the only thing I- oh snap, I forgot to give him the bottles. You know what, Pooh? Sorry about that, buddy. Uh, you use a bottle on yourself. Use the bottles all day long. Overdose on the bottles. So I'm going to predict what Nintendo's going to do. Uh, on day two, they're going to push the they're going to push the Star Fox game that they've hinted at. They're going to push that into next year, and then they're going to announce that Roy and Ryu have been confirmed for Smash 4 as DLC characters. Then I'm going to predict that Pooh's going to get a level up. His, he, he is now f level 41. Offense went up by 2, IQ went up by 1, HP went up by 2, PP went up by 3. Who realized the power of PSI Thunder Gamma? Okay, we haven't seen that yet, but it's the same thing, just hits 3 times. And then, I'm thinking either in Day 2 or Day 3, they are going to uh, announce that Zelda, the new Zelda game, will be released in November. This is me just throwing stuff out of the blue. I'm... From what I've known of Nintendo, I have a feeling this is what they're going to do. And I, this is fun. I have done this before, so I'm trying new things. You know what? Jeff, you use a big bottle rocket on the Petrified Royal Guard. And Pooh... Wait, what? Pooh? What? You used a bottle of DX water and you recovered 3 PB. Are you kidding me, bro? Okay, you j Bash. That was kind of shameful. I didn't notice that. how shameful that was. And, um... I, I honestly think, I don't think that this year Nintendo's going to announce many new games. I think they're just going to confirm a bunch of rumors that have been out. Because there have been a ton of rumors. Uh, Miyamoto has like, had like three pet pro projects last year. Um, one of which was sort of like a Five Nights at Freddy's thing. Uh, and that was actually two years ago now that I think of it. Uh, where you get to move the cameras around. And it came out before Five Nights at Freddy's, which is kind of cool. Uh, I like the, the concept of that. So it's a tower defender where you move the cameras around. That's nice. Uh, Paul's level is now 46. Offense went up by uh, 1. Speed went up by 1. Guts went up by 1. IQ went up by 1. Luck went up by 1. HP went up by 2. PP went up by 4. Paul reels the power of PFSI Freeze. Whoa, Omega. Jeff's level is now 44. Offense went up by 1. Defense went up by 1. Speed went up by 1. Vitality went up by 1. IQ went up by 2. That's awesome. Luck went up by 1. HP went up by 10. Okay, uh, I want to check something before I I, I'm, I'm, I ramble onward. Uh, whoa. Okay, his PP is now 43, so one or two more level ups and he will hit the magical number for fi fi yeah, fixing the broken bazooka. Okay, that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I think Nintendo's just going to confirm rumors this year and then maybe announce DLC for different games. I just, I'm not feeling the whole new game thing with Nintendo. They don't really have any new games to announce. I mean, think about it. They have the Mario Kart, they have the Mario Parties, they have all the games that they would be announcing. I think they're just going to be adding to those games. Okay, the Rain Pendant. Now it's time for me to go back to the game. The Rain Pendant, uh, it, it gives 10, uh, no, 15. It gives 15 defense, I almost said armor, and it also protects you from freeze attacks. And I think, uh, let's see, I gave that to Paula. Um, you know, yeah, let's give that to Pooh. No, Pooh can't use it, derp. Okay, so, Rain Pendant. Ness, give, give this to Jeff. Good, and then go ahead and move your Magic Truffle to the top of your in inventory, because I'm always having to do that. He always likes burying the Magic Truffle. And then, and then Jeff, you can, oh wait, you have the Flame Pendant. Oh man, you, okay, you know what, I'm, go I'm just going to hold on to the... No, you know what? No, no, no. The flame pendant's not as good as the the rain pendant. I like the rain pendant more. They they give the same amount of stats, but the rain pendant protects from 
um, from freeze attacks, which we're going to be seeing more often. Although, I will hold on to the fire pendant because there's a certain part in the game where that would be really useful. Someone must have stepped on a switch. It sounds like something up above is moving, which is a hint that we need to go up northwards. Not north, because we're going up, so it's up. <laughs> I was trying to think of a, a name for the direction called up, and I already thought of it. It's it's up. Yeah, the name for up is up. Just like the movie, which was pretty good. Okay, let's go through here. Oh, boy. Ness's level's now 50. He's halfway to 100. Offense went by 2. HP went by 3. Pooh's level is now 42, the secret of life once again. Offense 1 by 2, defense 1 by 1, HP 1 by 3. Yeah, uh, in that battle, Paula died, although... Death is not the end. Death is the answer to all our society's problems. Death is a relief, a release from turmoil. Death has no hold over us. Paula's revived. Oh yeah! Paula being revived by the man. I have no healing items, so she's just gonna have to say, stay sick. Uh, no, she'll just life up. So awesome, we, we have two healers in the group, one of which can bring people back to life. Pooh, truly, you hold the secrets of life. He can revive dead people, although some people... Okay, I'm not gonna go there. I'm really not gonna go there. That's not a conversation for a Let's Play episode. I'm like, some people should not be revived. Some people should stay dead, and that creates a quandary. No, I'm not gonna do that here. <laughs> I have the comments blow up with people saying, Um, you know, what if Hitler was was revived so that he could be punished? And other people were like, no, he should stay. Okay, like I said, not talking about that. Not going there. Let's go in here. Uh, ah. Down the hole we go. The sarcophagi moved, and it brings us to the teardrop of life. The teardrop of secrets. There's something on the platform. Do you want to get it? Of course I do. I want to get the thing inside the pharaoh's tomb. Ness got the Hawkeye. So the secret of Amumu. Also, I've, I've mentioned Amumu twice now. Um, both times referencing a mummy. And I guess I could mention who Mumu is. I've talked about League of Legends a couple times because I play it, and I play it a lot, and it's a great game. It's probably one of my, my favorite multiplayer games other than Sma uh, Project M. But I, I just want to mention who Mumu is because he's like my favorite character. A Mumu, because I've been mentioning a couple times, uh, is like this little mummy character um, who is sad all the time and he cries. Picture on screen for one frame right now. That is a Moo Moo. He is very cute. Okay. Let's just kill this thing. Wow. Wait, what? I, I did all the build up. I'm just like, bash. Death. Hopefully Jeff can get another level up this episode. Because if he does, that means like he can repair the item. Oh boy. I can't do the thing where I cycle them on screen, so it's like I'm playing a video game that has no exploits, and it's horrible. Although, these enemies are really weak now. Like, I'm pretty sure one one bash attack will finish this thing off. Bash attack! Almost does. Oh, wow. Never mind. Okay, four bash attacks. That's still okay. And Pooh should be use. I should be using Pooh's bash attack every now and then. Okay, let's go through this door, avoiding the snakey snake. And there's a magic butterfly and a sarcophagus. Now, I need to check on my map to see if that's a actually a an item we can get, or if it's not. It is. It contains... Oh. Oh, that contains a diamond band. Okay. Well, let's just do a little waltzy waltz here. And uh, open the casket. Ta-da! There's a diamond band inside. Ness takes it. And we can give that to... Does Paula have an item that's good? She has the... Ah. Oh, wait, no, no, sorry. I thought that maybe that was a thing. No. I was like, but she has the night pendant. But no, that's wrong. Okay, give to Paula. And then, just like always, magic truffle. Give. I love the magic truffle. I've I mentioned that a couple times, too. But I really do love the magic truffle, because I didn't know that that was, su that was such a cool... That was such a cool secret that you could do. Okay, platinum band. Gives 10 more defense. So she's up to 127. Awesome. Now... Without needing the magic butterfly, let's drop in the hole. Oh boy, it's like Indian Jones, we're dropping into the pit of snakes. 
Uh, enemies, I don't like them in this area because they can't despawn. That's really the only reason why I don't like them. Because if you see an enemy, you know you have to fight it. You know. You can't avoid it. I mean, I avoided that one snake. Let's see if I can do that again. Just slowly, slowly, slowly. Just tap it. Tap it. I am doing this. Are you kidding? No. No, wait, 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 wait. I may, I may be able to get past him. I may be able to get past him. No, I'm not. I'm not going to get past him. I'm not going to get uh, past the doggy. No, I'm not. But I may draw this out just enough. He's moving. Every two steps, he's going to attack me, right? I'm I'm doing this. Oh, no. Okay. Well, I'll be able to use this invincibility to go right by the other enemy. But really, this is why I don't like the area. You can't avoid these enemies. They will not despawn. They always spawn in the same place. And you can never avoid them. But I was able to draw that out a little bit, so I can use the invincibility to get past the snake. And it's also frustrating because you can almost never, oh boy, you can almost never get a green swirl here. And that's, that's frustrating. Okay, hopefully I can get on the stairs before they chase me. I did. I avoided three enemies there, so it wasn't that bad. And I'll have to fight the snake. Snake, there are... Actually, you know what? No, I don't have to fight the snake. I don't have to fight the snake. I don't have to fight the snake. I have to fight the snake. Yay! You know what this means? We, it means we're done with the pyramid. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, okay. Suggestion. Before you progress any further, take the Hawkeye. Well, first, let's use help. What a miracle! Now you can see in the dark! Uh, now let's use it. Hawkeye can't be used here. Okay. But my suggestion is before you progress any further, like literally, not a step fur further, if you're playing along, give the Hawkeye to Pooh. And now take another step. It's our friend the Star Master! Well done, you have made it! We finally meet Prince Pooh. The stars foretold that I would meet you here. So, now it's the time to show you the way of the Star Storm. For a while you must live far away from your friends, and live with me. Do you understand? There is only one answer. I must stop you here even if you don't want to. Stay with me a while. Do you understand? It is important that I study and learn the Star Storm. It will be most helpful to us. Once I learn it, I'll meet up with you, Ness. Trust me, I will see you again. It, it depends on Pooh's efforts. That will determine the reuniting of the group. Be faithful and wait until the time comes, comes, comes. So it's the three of us once again. We are in the desert. We've crossed the river and talk to this guy who knows about the dungeon man. There's a strange looking tower to the northwest. This P, I, this key, this P, this key I picked up a little while ago shall maybe open the tower. You may have it. I do not need it. Thank you, Tiki man. You kind of bald. You should probably get like a toupee. Sorry to bother you, big bro. This is Escargo Express. I had a phone call from a friend of yours recently. He asked me to hold on to the Hawkeye for you. Do you know anything about this? Well, since you know about the item, I'll hold on for on to it for you. If you do need it, I'll deliver it and to you anytime you want. Oh yeah, big bro, I'm glad that I could help out you and your friends. Click. That's nice, but that's why I gave it to Pooh, because then it automatically stores it at Escargo Express without me needing to call them. Which is pretty cool. It's a pretty cool thing I learned. I'm learning so much about this game. I do not profess to be an Earthbound master. I, this is my second playthrough, and I don't know a lot about the game, but I'm learning as I go. Since I'm dealing in some pretty rough su stuff, I can't run my business in town. Uh, I w got a wide selection. What are you looking for? We have $900, so we can buy nothing. We can literally buy nothing. Uh, the bazooka is essentially a worse version of the heavy bazooka, which we are about to get. Probably next episode we'll have it. Uh, so I will not bother with that. We can get bottles of DX water, but we don't need them anymore because Pooh is gone. We can get beef jerky, secret herbs, don't need any of that. But there are two items that are interesting. I mean, there's the crusher beam, but there's the french fry pan, which is a weapon for Paula. But there's the multi-bottle rocket, which is the single most powerful item that Jeff can get in the game. Multi-bottle rockets do a ton of damage, more than even the big bottle rockets. I do not have the money on me right now, but I will have the access to an ATM soon. So I will remember this place for later, uh, but first, let's see if I can sell anything. I'm not going to cut ahead because I don't feel like I have that much stuff to sell. In fact, uh, the answer is nothing. I cannot sell a single thing. So, I think we're good. 
Is there anything else you need? No. But we will see you later, like you said. You are a prophet, good sir. Be or be whatever. You appreciated the thing. Just kill me now. Oh boy, I have no uh, no idea how much time we have left in the episode. It looks like maybe five minutes. Uh, but this is an array you never want to see. This is the Marauder Octobot, the High Class UFO A, and the High Class UFO B. The High Class o Octobot, if I recall, can self-destruct. I could be wrong, but still, you should kill it second. Um, I believe it restores its HP, but uh, my memory's a little bit foggy. Uh, PSI Rocket and Gamma will be our friend since we have access to a uh, rest spot again soon, so spamming my abilities is not a bad idea. Uh, let's go ahead and use PSI Fire Gamma because I got it. I ha I do have Omega and I have not used it on screen yet. I did use it off screen a couple times uh, just to get through some of the enemies, but I do not. I'm not going to use it here because there's not an enemy that I want to kill that badly. I just want to kill them all at once. I can't, I actually did, I did the wrong thing on Jeff, but that's fine. Rockin' Gamma will connect, deal a ton of damage. First time we get to see it, does 200 and 300 damage. Now Fire Gamma will do a lot of damage as well. Hopefully it'll finish off the entire group. Yes, it does, and it does not self-destruct. I'm thinking of another enemy that looks similar. Uh, 8, 13,000 experience. Jeff's level is now 45. This could be it, guys. Offense 1 by 1, HP 1 by 3. No, it's not. Okay. So it's probably going to be next episode that we gain access to the uh, the Broken Bazooka, but it will be a good episode, trust me. Okay, uh, this is the tower. Looks like you could enter, but it's locked. I have no clue where we're entering. I'm not sure if I want to know. And I'm also... I, I'm, su I'm sunstroke because I said that. Uh, but the key to the tower will indeed open us a pathway, and we can enter the tower. Uh, before I before I read the sign, let's really heal up Jeff because that was annoying. Jeff's son struggle secured magically. Welcome, you are inside my body, Brick Road. So we have seen Brick Road once before. Jeff ran into him where he was. He created a very simple, yet albeit fashionable, dungeon maze, and he professed his uh, inhibit inhibition and ambitions to become Dungeon Man. My statistics yeah, my statistics show about seventy percent of the people to go to the right first. Brick Road. Ha! Ah, shows what you know. If you check into this bench, it is just like checking into a hotel. Brick Road. And also, this is cool because this is the first episode I have not switched the, uh, the, the text boxes, though I, I won't skip one. I'll just switch next episode. I just haven't had access to a save point, so that's kind of interesting. Okay, so we are in Brick Road. This is a dungeon. In fact, we are inside of the famous Dungeon Man. Uh, the hospital is to the left there. There's an ATM there, so if we, if I want to get multi-bottle rockets at that guy, I can. There's a phone here for all of my needs, and there's an enemy which really wants to give me a hug. But it was weak enough that I killed it. Now, those enemies are from... They're the same uh, enemies that appear in the um, Foresight department store when Paula is kidnapped. They're the cups of coffees and the records. Um, and they're not actually too powerful now because I am level 50, 46, and 45. Almost getting the broken bazooka. Uh, but I will be conquering this next episode. It's a little bit of a, of a short episode, but I think that it will work out best that way. So, next time, in Pal Plays Earthbound, uh, we will be going through Dungeon Man. It's a really cool dungeon. He did a good job creating his body, and we'll, <laughs> we'll explore it next episode. I, I have strange wording sometimes. You guys just have to stick with me. Also, E3, Zelda will probably con be confirmed for November this year. Let's see if my predictions are correct in the next episode. See you guys next time. I release new episodes of Earthbound, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, and uh, I think I've done my intro already, but that's fine. And, yeah, stuff. Stuff. Okay, let's let's show this before I end the episode. Uh, freeze Omega on the Scalding Cup of Copy. Hopefully, Paulo will go first. Boom. And Jeff, you just use this. PSI Freeze Omega does... 
600 damage to the scalding cup of coffee, and then Gamma cleans up with its awesome animation and doesn't kill the mystical record, which will deal one damage, stupid one damage, but this will finish it off. Or not. Uh. Okay, now I'm done. And I extend the episode probably to a reasonable amount. And boss level is now 47, offense 1 by 1, HP 1 by 2. Alright, I'm going to sleep on this bench like a hobo, and I will see you guys next time for realsies. Bye.